Assalamualaikum. I am your social studies teacher, and this video is for grade four. Today we are going to discuss about the land forms of Pakistan. Land forms. First of all, what are land forms? Land is not plain that has many different forms known as land forms or the physical features of the earth surface is called land forms. Example mountains, hills, valleys, oceans, seas, etc. Pakistan is blessed with a varied landscape. There are barren deserts, flat plains, forests, high mountains, plateaus, valleys, vegetation and a good river system. Let's talk about the mountain. Mountains of Pakistan. Pakistan has a beautiful mountainous landscape in the northern areas and on its west as well. The Himalayan mountains are the highest range in northeast country. The highest peak is K2 at the height of 8611 meter. Nanga Parbat is the second highest mountain in Pakistan at 8126 meter. Karakaram Mountains and the Hindu Kush Mountains lie to the north. There are other smaller mountain ranges like Suleiman Range, Salt Range, Kohisafat and many other ranges. Khyber Pass connects Pakistan with Afghanistan. Kundarab Pass connects Pakistan with China. Roads and tunnels have been cut through the mountains to provide passage and travel route. Valleys Valleys are the flat land between mountains. Valleys are hot in summer and cold in winter. The valley of Azad Kashmir, Chitral, Hunza, Kagan, and Sawat are popular tourist destinations. Tourists like to go these places. Koito Valley is another landmark, famous landmark of Balochistan. Plateau. Pakistan has hilly plateaus. Example, Potwar Plateau, the Salt Range and the Balochistan Plateau. These lands are not good for cultivation. Yes, but this area is rich in mineral resources such as oil, coal, iron, limestone, marble and granite. Much of our mineral resources come from these regions. Desert Balochistan and Sin are barren hills or desert. There is little vegetation in these areas. There is very little rainfall. And it's remained dry most of the year. The Thal Desert 
Cholistan Desert, Nara Desert and Thar Parker Desert are the driest desert of the country. Some areas of the Upper Sin and most of Punjab are plains which are flat land and cultivated for agriculture. The river Indus and its five tributaries irrigate most of these areas. Barley, cotton, maize, fruit, rice, tobacco and so many vegetables grow in abundance in this fertile region. There are many rivers in Pakistan. River Indus is the longest river in Pakistan. It starts flowing from the northern Himalayan mountains near Tibet into the Arabian Sea near Karachi. It is 3,200 kilometers long. It has five main tributaries which are Jhelum, Chenab, Satlej, Bees and Ravi. All these rivers are in the Punjab province which drives its name from the five rivers Punjab. These rivers originate from the valleys of Kashmir and join the river Indus in Punjab. Indus irrigation system is one of the largest irrigation system in the world providing irrigation to cultivate many hectares of land in Punjab and Sindh. Irrigation system means to pro give artificial, artificial water for the cultivation of crops. As you can see in the picture. Canal irrigation system was developed during the Mughal period. Construction of barrages, dam and network of canal system began during the British rule and was undertaken to full completion after the partition. There are many important dams in Pakistan. The dam provides us with water for the cities and irrigation. Electricity is also generated by dams. Now dam in Pakistan are the river in the, the Darbela dam is built on river Indus at Haripur. It is one of the largest dam in the world. Some notable dams in the country are Mangala Dam on River Jhelum, Warsaw Dam on River Kabul, Rawal Dam on Rawal Stream, Kumal Dam near Banu and Kanpur Dam near Rawal Pindi, the Hub Dam on River Hub Balochistan. In Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, there are numerous mountain ranges that get heavy snowfall in winter. When the snow and ice melt in summer, many streams and rivers are formed. I hope you understand the chapter. If you have any question, you can ask in the Google class. But for better understanding, you have to read the book. Thank you so much.